Hey everyone, this is Eric the Dinosaur Guy with Clan My Rocks. Um, I'm coming to you today um, by myself, technically. I My partner is actually upstairs working from home today. So, um, but I wanted to come to you today because I have a few th new things that I got. Um, all due to this quarantine issue and everything else, one of my most favorite places, Fossil Era, has pretty much a skeletal crew. There's only one person at the warehouse in order to send stuff off, and I fear that they're going to go out of business. So, instinctually, I bought some stuff from them, um, and I do plan on doing that again this week. I am not going to have this business go out. I love V-Rock Shop near me, but one, they're closed now, locally. They don't have an online store. But two, V-Rock Shop has some fossils, but not the kind that we need. You know, the, what we, you and me, want to look at. So, um, when it comes to what I have, though, um, well, let me switch you around. Okay. Uh, see. These two things are just some old stuff. I might as well just talk about these first. Anyway, excuse me, uh, my nose is a little bit allergies right now. So, this little fossil shark tooth, um, someone I knew from, from work, doesn't work there anymore, uh, Matt, Matt Christinger, he got me this and this other fossil here. But this, I don't know what type of species it is, I don't know... Um, where it's actually from. It looks like something from Florida or S South Carolina, but I'm not totally sure. <laughs> this is another unsure for the species, but I can definitely guarantee you this is probably Mississippian, Devonian, or even freaking maybe Pennsylvanian in age. So, but that brachiopod that's on here, I love it. He found this. Um, up by Lake Cable near in North Canton uh, when they were draining the lake and cleaning it and dredging it and all. Apparently, he found this there. It's actually one of my favorites. <laughs> Bigger the brachiopod, the better. <laughs> okay. So, on to some other things. So, yes, I have this propping this book up. Mainly because what I bought here from Fossil Era is a piece of fluorite. But it's not any type of piece, you know, mineral fluorite. As you can see, the little pinkish purple that's on there. Ooh. But this came from Marblehead Quarry up in Ottawa County, Ohio. This is one of the first minerals I know came out of a quarry here in Ohio that I own. <laughs> and this this quarry, Marblehead Quarry, is in that little uh, peninsula that juts out into Lake Erie. So, yeah, if you Google search it, you can actually notice that. Now, fluorite is a part of the halide family, which is related to water-soluble minerals, a.k.a. like salt, you know, halide. Halite, uh, which is Salt's actual name. But yeah, that was a pretty cool thing. Oh, and if you're wondering, this is pretty much limestone, I do believe, a type of limestone that's in. So it heated enough in order to be able to create these little crystals. They're small, but they're, pr they're pretty. So that's one of my things. Um, the second thing that... Uh, I have found, and the reason why I have my Oreodont jaw up here, is this is from the same, uh, uh, if I can think today, the same uh, uh, Oligocene era as the Oreodont jaw. This is Hyracodon uh, Nebraskan, since I was never a Latin person. <laughs> But this is a jaw section with tooth. 
This, in layman's terms, is the running rhino. Yes, America, back in, in 32 million years ago, in South Dakota, Nebraska, and all, they had rhinos. They were smaller than the rhinos that you know of, but I'm going to show you a picture of a picture. Here you go. See that? That's the size of Harakadon. Kind of about four foot long, small. Um, but yeah, I always wanted one of these, but I just couldn't really afford one because a lot of the fossils, including this, this I think I spent uh, $15 on. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that was a little bit expensive for a tooth and jaw section, but I think it's well worth it, especially since I also saw. The actual skull of Hyracodon in person up at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History. Um, unfortunately, I mm, no, I wouldn't be able to find it because I would have to get into Bo's Facebook and into my. Eh, I might be able to find it here for you. Uh, e -R -A. There it goes. There, give me a moment. Um, so, let's get into my photos. Albums. Shouldn't take me too long. Clear Museum of Natural History. Yeah, I went back to there today. Um, I have a batch, a whole lot of photos. Um, eventually, I'm going to get around to post it on my Amino um, for those photos. But in the meantime... Uh, I'll be just doing this. Is this it? Yes. <laughs> Here's Hyracodon's skull. See? But anyway, I'll put that aside. So that was a pretty good acquirement for my, uh, uh, collection. And then I have this little, uh, I can move it. Come on. There we go. I got this little tooth here. It's not the greatest tooth, mind you. Because it has a little bit of jaggedness on the side. But what do you expect for $3? <laughs> it's a crow shark tooth. Um, again, some another shark tooth for my collection that's growing. I'm hoping to get a bunch of different types of shark teeth from different areas and see the differences and everything but yeah this is from the upper cretaceous period you know say uh maybe between 70 and 66 million years old around there from morocco eh, it's pretty cool it has a decent uh tip and one side is very serrated the other side is just really jagged from how it was prepared it's kind of sad on that part but what can you do you know Lastly, I do believe, if I undo the, bat, um, the uh, rubber band, oh, no. there we go, the next one is a really rare thing, what do you think that is, this is really strange, I've never seen this ever except recently, and it's always been offered by Fossil Era. I haven't seen it anywhere else, these things. A lot of people say they're pine cones, but upon further looking and everything, they call it like an aggregate fruit. And mainly because the insect damage during the time when it was all, all fresh. <laughs> um, you tell insect damage here, a lot of bite marks. That's due to insect eating. They, insects would not eat a cone. <laughs> um, hard pine cone would be really tough to digest. So, uh, yeah, I go with the aggr aggregate fruit um, thing with each individual little hole being like a little seed or something. But yeah, that is from the Eocene period in uh, Morocco. This is 
um, I think it was Eocene, Oligocene, and Miocene. I think this is before 32 million years old. Uh, let me find out. Uh, hold on for a moment. Uh, things are so tough when I'm having to do things myself. E O C E N E. Especially when I'm trying to do this and find out information. I don't want pictures, I want the actual. It's the Eocene time period. Actually, 56 to 33 million years ago. So, yeah. It's uh, before the. Um, a legacy. That's totally. I, I know my stuff. I just can't quite remember these days how many millions of years. But, any which way. Um, that's it that I have for right now. Um, as I said, next week I'll have more. <laughs> um, and I'll be able to create a video and post it. So if you like my videos, please give it a like. Um, if you like my channel, please subscribe. And please hit that notification button so you can be able to actually know when I post videos. Because I don't post regularly. I really wish I did. But in this line of work, it's that's a little tough. <laughs> so, um... So you have a great day and thanks for watching.